So first, let's talk about what happened at Berkeley. Uh, you had two individuals. Neither one were students. Uh, Mr. Williams was allowed to be on campus uh, to try to recruit people for his cause. The university did not interfere with that. Another non-student punched him in the face. No one should be punched in the face based on the words that come out of their mouth. And so that was absolutely inappropriate. However, it had nothing to do with Berkeley's free speech policy. Mr. Williams was allowed on campus. The gentleman who punched him was arrested. And the school, the University of Berkeley, uh, adamantly condemned what he did. So this is really isn't a free speech on campus issue at all. The larger context, however, is what the president has also said about speech. He's done several things that should cause, give us cause for concern about whether he's truly committed to free speech. And here are just a few examples. First, the president has blocked critics on Twitter from following his account. He continues to litigate that issue. Why doesn't he allow those people to continue to post comments on his Twitter? The president called for NFL owners to find players who took a knee in an act of symbolic speech to protest racial injustice. The president has called the New York Times, quote, a true enemy of the people. And the president recently said that there should be, quote, retribution against Saturday Night Live for doing a skit satirizing him. And so ultimately, what we should be concerned about here is whether the president is truly committed to free speech. Whether one agrees with the president's views or not, we should all be concerned because he doesn't really have a true commitment to free speech. Just like the Indiana University supports all viewpoints, the president should do the same.